Hey everyone, it's Little Lolly Cat here, back with a review! Okay, so the brand and stuff I'm going to be reviewing today is going to confuse some Americans, <laughs> so I'm going to give a little preface. So there's a company in Europe called Kiddo, and some of you Americans might be going, ah, but ABU own Kiddo, so <laughs> because of the one diaper they have. So Kiddo was a European brand and is still a European brand. It never stopped existing. It produced clothing and it produced what a lot of you might remember as the owl diaper. It was the original producer of it. So Kiddo used to sell ABU in the U, not in the UK, in the EU, was kind of their base. And ABU bought over their original Kiddo design, which was known as the Kiddo diaper at the time. So obviously ABU continued using the term Kiddo for the ter terminology, but just be aware when I'm talking about Kiddo, I mean the actual brand, not the ABU affiliation with the brand. So now that's cleared up because trust me, I posted a picture of this on Twitter and, and it threw off a lot of Americans who, <laughs> who didn't know about the buy over years ago of, of the original design. Kiddo are the original designers of the Kiddo diaper, that's why it's called Kiddo. Right, Kiddo is actually the brand and they do do some very cute um, clothing as well so I would suggest check them out because they do do some cute stuff as well. I do have a foot sleeper from them which while it's way too big for me because I'm about a foot too short for it and my feet are probably about five sizes too small at least, um, I know they do fit some other people perfectly. Okay, so moving on, this is called the Let's Build Diaper. And this, as you can see, has a Lego-like block pattern on it. It has blue and yellow sides with the, um, once again, the block top pattern actually on it. Um, it is a Velcro fronted diaper. And while it isn't in like the mega massive, like a lot of companies right now seem to be pushing for that 8,000 at least. This is actually, I think it's 4.381 was what they listed it as, which is a very specific number. Um, what I will say is these are actually well made. And some of you relatively may look at the cost of it and go, her, it's quite high for not quite an absorbent diaper. But the reason for that is it is actually well made. And I cannot say that enough. It genuinely is. Um, my one issue with it, well, I have a couple of issues with this one. Primarily, um, I don't really like Velcro tabs. I think Velcro tabs, when they're at their best, is still slightly less than Velcro tabs when, well, sticky tabs when they're at their worst. Because if a sticky tab doesn't stick, you can use tape. When it comes to Velcro tabs, it's a bit weird. So I tried these after trying another Velcro tab one that was abysmal and it popped 10 times in the space of half an hour and was getting caught on everything and these ones actually stuck. So while it's definitely a good Velcro, um, just personally I don't like Velcro tabs that much and eventually while I was out one of the tabs did break off but gladly it's not one of the ones that I really needed to hold it in place so it still worked for the rest of the time until it went which is really saying something about the quality of this because obviously if you had a cheaper one one of the tabs going could have issues like the plastic tearing and stuff like that and wouldn't have managed to hold up for the rest of the time so i do have to give it props there the only other note is while i know that some people will get really excited about like lego design i'm not much of a fan but it's just personal taste so um Unfortunately, the design is a bit too much like a lot of the cheaper fabrics I remember when that, when you're looking for children's fabric or childlike looking fabric online. It's a very common kind of design. So it looks a lot like those, which I don't know, for some reason, I'd, it never excited me the same. Maybe if the blocks actually were made into different little things, it might catch something on me, but instead... For some reason, the scattered print design, which is really common with anything Lego-ish looking, just makes me think of, you know, sore feet because you've stepped on one. <laughs> so that is my only two notes of things that, while not great for me, probably are exciting to others. 
Um, outside of that, they, the shell, they have a very particular plastic they use on their diapers and I mostly forgot about it until I tried them out again. And then I remembered the old kiddos, the one tabs, which were the only one tab diaper that ever actually fit me and worked. And it kind of came to my realization that part of it was down to one, where their tabs are placed and you know stuff like that. And two, the fact that they actually pay for a better quality tab than a lot of people did. So there is a massive difference between these and some of the others. And while they aren't as absorbent and they aren't as puffy and stuff like that, they are one of the brands I would really recommend you try. So <laughs> I wore this for probably about six hours before having to change. Like I said, one of the tabs broke, but it dealt with it really well. I didn't have any leakage issues. Um, my one note is, my other note would be the fact that obviously they are a European based sat brand. So check your sizing because they will be smaller than the equivalency of the American brand so obviously just keep that in mind when looking at them but if you're UK based they're available from NRU but Diaper Minister stocks them um, as well which is another place you can order them from I know currently NRU are out of stock of a lot of the mediums of the kiddo brand in general so obviously that's not quite so ideal but yeah I would say if they Despite the fact that it's a Velcro base, if they made this with a slightly more a different print, I would probably still be all over them. And that's saying something considering my <laughs> distrust of the Velcro tabs. <laughs> so yeah, I would give this like a, a good review. I would say you're probably expecting about the six hour wear mark out of this, not the eight, but also not a four, so still pretty decent. And yes, the cost in general is slightly more than the equivalency because of the um, because of the volume they hold but they are worth it because the shell is actually had time and effort and money put into it so yay <laughs> okay so I hope that's helpful to some of you and bye everyone mm -hmm.